Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be taking a look at Frog's Fab 4's F350. Now, there were a lot of modders involved with this truck, and I cannot remember every single one of them off the top of my head. However, if you want any information on this truck, you're going to have to find that in Frog's Discord, as this is not a public truck. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into everything on this thing. Now, Obviously, the suspension is on its low setting right now, and unfortunately, that has to be changed in the garage. It's not an active suspension because they haven't quite figured out how to uh, how to make active suspensions work properly as a controlled constraint in SnowRunner just yet. But this thing has giant hostile forged wheels. It's got a crazy, crazy underbody like suspension setup and frame setup. Got the Fab Four's grill. Got the like Fab Four's piece around the windshield, the giant sunroof, and we're gonna go ahead and take it into the garage and see what we can do in terms of customization before we run it out in the uh, out in the world. So, ooh, God, oh no, that would rub. I was turning the wheel to see if it would rub, like you know, IRL, and yeah, at that height, it absolutely would rub. So now that we're in the garage, let's go ahead and check out the customization options. Now we have stock motor, upgraded motor, and performance motor. So I'm going to go straight to the performance engine. And I'm going to probably go with the highway gearbox for this one. Just because I'm trying to extract a little bit of speed out of it. And suspension wise, we have three options. Stock, lifted, and lifted AF. And what's funny is the two lifted suspensions aren't... They don't seem all that different, but... They're both a big step up from stock height. So I'm probably going to go with the third option. And we've got 38s in all tire compounds, which are all terrains uh, with Punishers and all terrains on rock stars. We've also got trail grapplers and Punishers and then trail grapplers and rock stars. And then we also have 43s in all tire sizes and all wheel combinations. So I'm going to probably go with the trail grapplers with the Punishers, just to kind of go for that little bit of a um, kind of SEMA truck style look. And winch-wise, I'm going to go ahead and put a winch on it. And obviously, you can't really do the wheels after you go into... After you select the wheel entire combo, you can't change the wheel after that because that would be counterproductive. And color-wise, you have actually a lot of options. And I'll tell you, the colors on this truck do not look washed out at all. I'm not sure why they looked that way on the Chevy that I recently did, but they certainly do not look that way on this truck. And yes, if you want it in pink, you can have it in pink. It is available in pink if you so desire. So I'm just actually just trying to figure out what I think would be the best color combo for it. I really like the red, but I think I'm going to go for the even brighter red because the bright red really sets it off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave the garage now, and we're going to see how this thing drives. We're also going to see what trailers it can hook up, and we're going to see how it does climbing and crawling around uh, when we put this SEMA show truck into a semi-functional uh, environment. So let's see. Trailer-wise, we got fuel carrier, flatbed, sideboard, scout flatbed, ramped flatbed, scout fuel, maintenance, service, and small scout flatbed. So we've got a good variety of trailers to choose from. Now, diff lock is always on, but all-wheel drive is selectable, which is kind of nice because... Oh! Oh, God! You know what? Repair and refuel, please, because even though we had no damage, tapping that wall completely destroyed the bedside. So, I'm gonna... What the heck? I drove over a bump, and it was like, okay, rest in peace, your fender, your tail light, and part of your tailgate. And I'm like, okay... So if you want to keep this thing looking nice, you're going to have to be using that repair button all the time. I will say, though, like, I know everybody has their own opinions about these, you know, SEMA builds and stuff like that. But this one looks so good. I mean, yes, function over form aside, it's a very, very good looking truck and it's a really well put together mod. I mean, you can't deny the work that goes into a mod like this. I mean... If I remember correctly, when I talked to Frog about this mod, yes, it may have his name on it as the main release, but, like, five or six modders had their hands in this truck to make it what it is right now. Oh, I almost made it. Nope. All right, you want to try that hill climb again? Because I sure do. I don't even have all-wheel drive on. Whoa! Well, that was a little excessive. Uh, 
<laughs> that was a little excessive. Let's see how it does with a little with a little bit of rock crawling. And to be fair, the highway gearbox is what got us that insane speed. It's actually got really good grip on the rocks. I don't I don't mind it on the rocks at all. What about flex? How are we in the flex department? Let's see what you can do there. It's not bad. It's not as happy to flex as you might expect, but it's also, it's not bad at all. It's really, oh. Come on. Oh God. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, I know that the rear axle is kind of up as well and it's not necessarily true flex, but we'll have to find a very specific spot if we want to do true flex. It might work right here. Nope. The physics system does not like the edges of rocks. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, oh, yep. It, it's, it makes all the rocks very slick, and I'm not sure how to feel about it. I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm a fan. Oh, no! Oh, man. I was hoping that we could turn into it, but it didn't want us to. It was like, uh-uh. Not for you. Not for you. I'm gonna go ahead and just, like, spawn in another one. Just, like, put in another, like, just cheeky F450. Oh, God. Stop, 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 stop! Maybe that will work. Oh my god, get out of advanced mode. Thank you. Rotate. I will sacrifice one truck for another. Oh no! Yes! Pro. Big brain. Maybe not, but it works. <laughs> it works. Oh my God. All right, it's time for a mud test now for this thing. Now we have the trail graphs on it, so it should be decent in the mud. It should have a decent, like, decent amount of capability in the mud. It's not quite like a bogger, but it should be good. It's an MT. So let's see what you've got. Let's throw it in high and see how far it can get in the mud and high. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. Oh, that's where it starts digging. Yeah, she started digging, and then that was about it. Hey, low plus is still effective, though. I was really thinking that low plus wasn't even going to be remotely effective, but it actually is. It's not as it's not as bad in low plus as I thought. Normally, with these trucks, lo uh, low and low plus run about the same speed because low is as fast as it'll let them go in the mud. But this thing actually makes good use of low plus. I'm really impressed with it. Whoa, come on. Let's go. Whoa. Right. Well, that was a bit, that was a bit odd. Now this mud pit is the worst. Let's see if it can actually do anything in here. It's struggling now. You can tell that it's a lot more at a disadvantage in here than it was in the other mud holes. I think I'm going to leave that one because that one is for mud trucks. And as much as this would like to be a mud truck, it's not necessarily a mud truck. So let's drive it out of that mud hole. Nice and easy. There we go. Throw it in high because it can run high out of there. Just not high into it. Now... Our next test is a test of the suspension, yeah? All right, run it through the suspension test. It lumbers along, but it's... The only thing that's a little weird about it is I feel like the way the suspension sort of rebounds or bounces back is a little bit... I don't know, it's almost like it's oddly slow. It's like it's delayed in a way, but maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me, like... Maybe that's just me, like, kind of assuming that. I don't know. That'll be something that Frog will have to clarify. It does just fine in here. Approach and departure angles actually aren't that bad, which is not what you would expect from something that's a SEMA truck. Oh, it almost got high centered there, though. The only reason why it didn't is because it had the momentum from the bounce to push it forward. 
on these wider ones, it, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Now, let's run it up the hill. I do want to see if it can get a decent amount of air off the top of the hill, because some trucks can, and some trucks just can't. Oh, it slides around a lot. Get it, get it, get it. Yep, yep, oh my god! Oof! That was one of the biggest jumps I've done in a really long time on that hill in, like, almost any truck. Now, before we end this video, we are going to go to the snow proving grounds because the snow proving grounds have a much more interesting, well, I wouldn't say more interesting, but they have a really fun feature, ice. Now, ice is going to allow us to slide this thing all over the freaking place. There we go. I just wanted to make sure it was like the right time of day. All right, add, boom, boom, garage. Engine O2, highway gearbox, and suspension ultimate. Yes. Oh, God. Well, I guess we can run those. I mean, we haven't run any, like, we haven't run the Rockstar setup at all yet, so we'll run that. We ran the, um, the Hostile Forged on the other, on the other map, so we'll run the Rockstars here. These tires are wide. The, the offset isn't as far out, but, like, the, the tires are wide as all get out. All right, let's go ahead and head to the ice now. Because high range on the ice should get very interesting, very fast. Oh, God! Dorifto! Oh! Well, that went well. Kind of amazed that we're not upside down right now. Or in a tree, but, you know... We're backwards! Whoa! Oh no! Oh god! I can't steer! Ah! Yes! We're all right. We are A-OK. -okay. <laughs> I have an idea. Is it a good one? I don't know about that. Well, let's see how far I can slide on the e-brake without damaging anything. Oh my god! Normally, if it slides that far on the e-brake, or if any truck slides that far on the e-brake for that matter, the game is like, uh-uh, that's not okay. And is like, you're getting mega damage and you're getting it now. It usually, like, completely ruins your entire suspension. Go, 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 go. Oh, God. Oh, nope. It's not exactly okay with that! I just want a good run at this ice hill. Is that too much to ask? Apparently, whoa! Oh god. Oh, backwards! Yeet! It's taking a nap. Yes. All right, last attempt at this. I will go up that ice hill, oh god. Jesus, dude, really? Really? You get it like an inch out of line and it's like R.I.P. Whoa! Oh, I made it! Kind of! Oh, God! I'm all right! <laughs> oh, my God! This thing is hilarious out here on the ice. I mean, is it what this truck is supposed to be doing? No. But, is it fun? Oh, heck yeah, it's fun. It's a blast. Whoa! Go. And there we go. So, with that being said and done, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at Frog's Fab Fours Ford. If you did, then let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more, and turn on those notifications, and I'll see you all next time.